So, um, on a good afternoon, this is now 12.31 p.m. We did live for Arara Junction, right here for Aba, where we get reports early this morning, say, situation being there between uh, some people and uh, the Nigerian army. Um, report not too clear for us, so now why we say people come this junction, to come know what thing they happen. And we don't, you know, try to understand the situation already. We say people, they cross road, they carry their hands up, you know, so far. As you see now, people be some shops, even though open today, some shops decide to close. You know why some open? You see bike men, they do their thing. Some people they sell their goods as well. But then I guess one or two people here will go tell us, you know, what did I know about the situation will happen? You know, early this morning, uh, my friend here. Uh, good afternoon, how you doing? Good afternoon. I'm okay. Good. Okay, you go tell us what the, the small thing where you know about the matter where happened today. Uh, the small thing started last night. We just they hear gunshot. They get me, but before the matter start to happen, I was somewhere. So I said, "My come out there. They go my own area. I can go sleep because time was becoming late. So as I just they come back, I'm reaching to this junction. Now I see uh, hundreds of uh, guys armed. They were marching." As they march, they march the form circle for this uh, checkpoint where they yeah. So as they just the march, they form the circle. They come surround the checkpoint. So by then, myself, I don't pass the area. So a few minutes on reaching to where they go, I been one go my own house. So a few minutes after I just left there, now we start to hear gunshots. So. They come to hear gunshot. We come to make a quarry, move no waiting, come they happen for the area where I just come out. So I started to the Allah call across. For my own people where they live around this area, the Allah call, they put call through. And they come say those people were in the march, go around the, the checkpoint that time. They were exchanging uh, bullets. They come they fire face to face directly with the soldiers where they there. So even till now, even till this morning, don't shot no glorious sleep. Don't shot no glorious make movement. Don't shot everywhere because uh, what did I think they be say the soldiers they added more force to their unit here. Please men no come be like say we get uh, more than any casualty of what happened last night. So I found it that I know if you go my area that late night. As of that time, where that gun be the shoot for this area. So as I made inquiry about where to sleep. So I'm getting to the hotel around express here. So now we come see hillocks, trucks of military hillocks, which just the pass. Maybe they were coming to this place. I think they are for rescue. So and they come shoot for the gate of the hotel where we did. For the people, of course, and people where they the hotel. Immediately they saw the truck. They see the truck begin the para the run. Then the soldiers come shoot. But there was no casualty recorded there. Now we come here say this morning. Say they still they shoot again. Now why me say I say make I come out. Come see out with my crow crow eye. Make I see. But uh, as the situation be now, the matter be safe. Everybody is reporting to business. Everywhere is calm at the moment. No bullying, no much casualty recorded this morning. And uh, the gunshot uh, has been on a ceasefire since morning. So we are just praying that they come to our rescue over here. We don't know. We don't know who it be. We don't see their face. Nothing, nothing. So we are just praying. People waiting there, their hand. May they come help us here. Yeah. Because of our own life and the lives of our families. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, thank you. Now, one of our, our guys, I know we are from this person too. Uh, how are you doing, my brother? I'm there fine. Okay, what will be your name? Okay, my name is Nasida. Okay, tell us what you observe. Actually, like last night, I'm a bike man. I always die to John Shaw, I read a John Shaw. You know, Everywhere is busy, everybody is selling goods, women and buy. We are driving everywhere. So, just like around 8 30, 8 30 to 9, we are just people, just people, people just passing everywhere. It's just busy. All the surgeons in there, we are starting hearing gunshots. Everybody started running, we don't know what happened. So, I like to secure my life. So, reach this 
morning, I just come out, see everybody is gathering, everybody, everybody even road, the soldier block road, everywhere, no, no space, nowhere. Put the bike people, the only they are biking yesterday night and run, we started seeing fire and they are burning the kitchen. They are starting burning the night. Okay, 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 Everywhere is going and everywhere. But all I'm talking about our Nigeria, both our governor and president, try to help us because we are all these civilians who cannot just die without knowing anything, kill us. So I beg, let me try to do something. Okay, well, thank you. It does say make uh, try to do something. Okay, that's uh, now waiting with the apple for it. But then, like you, you don't see, so everything don't return to normal, at least for now. Everybody, they go about their normal businesses. The bike men they run, some shops don't close. But then, uh, like you see, people where they cross road, they carry their hands up for now. But so far, so good. Everything they okay right now for Arara Junction, right here for Aba. My actual, Our heavenly sent uh, non government doing the need for. We appreciate all of them. Chukoka sent them at the right time doing the need for defending the, the, the defenseless as it is happening right now. Mazi, uh, Mazi, since today in Abakliki and the environs, there are this black Prado Jeep, black color, patrolling the whole of Abakliki. And what? Why are they doing that? They are still patrolling so that uh, by, by 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 when the day is done, uh, they start picking people and taking them to non destinations. And uh, equally, there was a convoy today going all around from Abaklike to Oboro. What is their purpose? But we thank God that uh, our our uh, not our the, the the unknown government. Of course, we don't know them. This beautiful spirit sent by Chukwu Kabiyama that are defending the defenseless. Who cleans our land? They are doing the need for our own is to give every information we got because we know that spirit. Of course, as you know, spirit they hear. Spirit are hearing as we speak. On man born He said, they, "Then the the ants came together. They said, if we don't fight these people, we all gonna die. They don't have mercy. They will they will destroy humanity." You know that um, in most countries they, they are still experiencing lockdown. They lock they, them down, major population. The people locking them down are not many in number, but they blame it on COVID. They have reasons to lock people down and lock them up, up in their homes. And many of them have lost means of their livelihoods. Some of them are losing their properties. Some doesn't have enough to feed themselves. This is what these things, these globalists are doing. And now, you know the worst part of it? The thing is in Africa. You might be looking at it, you look Nigeria and Biafra. You don't know that such a thing is happening in other countries in Africa. They put incompetent men there. 
Look at Cameroon. Look at look at uh, even Rwanda. Look at Zambia. We said Rwanda is look at Zambia. Zambia is living below poverty level. But every cup, oh, what if you want to know about copper deposit on earth, go to Zambia and go to Uganda. Look at the person in Uganda. That person is clueless on what is going on. So the man said to me, you uh, tell your people, the only thing, the only way you can defeat this evil agenda is to come together and tell yourself the truth and go for them. Begin to go for them and destroy them. There are not many. There are few. And this thing we are talking about today, you will see it coming up in America very soon. Mazio Below, I want to summarize by saying, we can't let these people get away with this. No, Mazi, you are not summarizing. Hold on, hold on. You know, according <laughs> to what you said right now, I remind, I remember something. No, do not, please do not summarize yet. I, with okay. what you said, they said to you that you must go to them. And I saw something. You know, it's it's. I, I really want to say this to make these people understand. I want I want them to know. I want them to think about something. That is the reason why I want to add it to what you said. I saw something here. It okay. says you need to put drone under control. You need to lay out some certain rules of engagement in order to prevent or minimize collateral. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> please pardon me <laughs> it says you need to put drone under control you need to lay out some certain truths of engagement in order to prevent and or minimize collateral um I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what. I don't know how to pronounce this word. It is extremely important. It says with what you said right now. You know the reason why I'm reading it this out is to get to let them to think about. You know, so that they will think about something. You know, our leader say at least they don't come to our place now to kill us. If they come yes. now, they will be, they will be thinking about ESN at least that it's something. So, this is what I want to imagine with what you said. Let then, me, go ahead. Very good. Let me, let me, yeah, thank you very much, sir. You see, the people controlling this, we know that Buhari is dead. Even America, as I'm talking to you right now, knows that there is nothing like Buhari. They know that Buhari is, there, is dead. So, they put that man there. If you look at how they moved that man when he came into that office, they first of all took him to Canterbury, to United Kingdom, and then all of a sudden they moved him to America to have a kind of a kind of a, a, you know appearance with President Donald Trump. And and all of a sudden the man began to feel somehow he said, "I don't want to see this lifeless person anymore." He began he now he began to understand what was going on, then and and they were trying to muzzle his mouth, don't speak this and that, and it was too late. If that was the mistake, but well, let let's be, we are fixing things now. They began to uh, call different men of God. Even Kumuyi went there. I never knew that Kumuyi. If you look at Kumuyi's ministration in the eighties, Kumuyi Kumuyi believed that this world is not his own; that is passing through; that he has nothing to do with government politics and everything. I was shocked that Kumuyi went there today. Kumuyi, I was in deeper life when they. When they don't watch television, you are not allowed to have television in your homes. I was there when somebody was testifying how he threw his television in the river. They call it devil's box. That's what they call it. I am surprised that today, Kumuyi has television studio and so many things. Now, all these men of God began to appear and take pictures and photographs. They threatened them with their money. They, are, they know where they are banking their currencies. That is where they are holding them. So they are holding their finance. Saying, if you don't do this, we're going to freeze it. We're going to seize your finance. And that's why they were coming, taking pictures, endorsing him. All these men that you see endorsing those imposters, there are many. That is not one imposter. They have different versions of Buhari. And that is what they are doing. All the news outlets, mainstream media, in the contraption, they told them, if you ever speak, we will bomb that place. Now, let me say this. The population in that country are one to 100 on a racial basis to counter these people or one 
even one person to 1,000. But the population haven't come to terms on coming together on how to deal with these people. So the only way, and I repeat, the way out is for the regions to team together and chase the animals down out from that place and get these men killed. If you let them, they will keep on putting their strategies, mounting different tactics, mounting different techniques and methods, coming from this, whether you are she, whether you are Igwe, whether you are a governor, all these men, any person, any syndicate, every one of them, even in diaspora, we're going to take it to diaspora. When we begin to deal with these people and it will happen simultaneously, it's not going to be one today, two tomorrow, and the other one next week. It will happen simultaneously. They will never know where to run to and they will be confused. That is the way we will chase these animals out and flush them out. If you say, let me, let's wait and put it this way. Yoruba should stand up firmly. I'm glad they are doing it. The middle belt should stand up without delay and team up with, with Biafra, with IPOB, under the leadership of Mazin Namdekanu, not the one that DSS is they are flaunting there, calling them different names and functions. These are agents of Nigeria. These are their agents. I know that. I know that for sure. And if we don't do it, then we will get the feelings. They will sting. And how they see us is that we are just like ants that deserve to die. So we're going to shed the animals out. Mazi Obilo, on this, I sign off, man. My brother, I, I can never sleep until I see this thing being done. Thank you very much, my Thank you very, very much.